up, we have Noah Haney from Williamsburg, Virginia. Noah is majoring in applied physics with a minor in mathematics. During Paideia, uh, that's our undergraduate research uh, symposium last week, um, Brandon and I actually had a chance to go over and watch Noah's presentation. He was phenomenal. We have no idea what he was talking about, but he was phenomenal. <laughs> so welcome, Noah. so much for being here for my modern presentation of learning. Uh, I don't really have a slideshow, really just this one slide. I felt like it was all encapsulating of my time in the program. I have pictures from some of my very first service projects up there and even some different things that I've done throughout my time here at CNU. Uh, so it's, it's really difficult to describe the impact that the modern service scholars program has made on my life. Before seeing you, I never really had a huge drive to engage my community through active and consistent service. The Bonner program not only ignited a passion for community service in me, but it also completely redefined what it means to engage in your community. It taught me how to connect with others on a deeper level, the importance of community and civic engagement, how to analyze and appreciate the perspectives of others and more. This program has been a staple of my time at CNU, and the experiences and knowledge that I've gained from being a modern service scholar are things I'm gonna keep with me for the rest of my life. Up until college, my service to my community was sporadic at best. I would occasionally volunteer at these one-off service projects or events, but never really at a consistent place other than where I worked during high school. I'd say my biggest claim to community engagement was something that I not did not really consider to be community engagement to begin with. Uh, throughout high school, I befriended and mentored a kid who lived across the street from me. I would take the time to play sports in the front yard with him. I babysat him while his mom ran errands. Uh, I even got to attend his big brother day at his preschool. Uh, it was weird because I never really considered any of this community engagement because it did not feel like what I was, it didn't feel like I was doing a direct volunteer service what I was doing. I was really just happy to do it. Um, that's what I talked about during my Bonner interview. Uh, I know Miss Cindy King up there will remember that. Um, I, re I remember that one vividly because um, I came in here with this not really knowing what to expect and uh, Cindy started talking about, oh, I made like this school club uh, for boys and girls at my elementary school and I was like, how did I get here, you know? <laughs> um, so uh, I was like really obviously ecstatic to get into this book into the uh, Bonner program because I uh, really wasn't expecting it. Um, I initially also just didn't know uh, if I'd be able to handle it because of my lack of what felt like community engagement and service in high school. Uh, however, Vanessa Buhlman, Brad Brewer, and eventually Jesse Deal saw something within me that I didn't see it myself at the time and it's something that I'm constantly blessed for every single day. They really reassured me that I had a lot to offer the Newport News community and it also had a lot to offer me as well. Freshman year completely redefined what community engagement meant to me. While the road getting adjusted to college was a bumpy ride, uh, having the Bonner program to support me uh, really soothed my mind and helped me get acclimated to CNU. My love for serving, serving youth uh, led me to Youth Volunteer Corps of Hampton Roads as my service site. Uh, before I go start going to my site, however, uh, the other freshman and I went on our first year trip to Tennessee. I really did not know what to expect with this trip. It was one of the first times I was going on a trip without family. Little did I know that the people that accompanied me on this trip would become my family at CNU. The first year trip really introduced me to a side of myself that I had never explored before. Uh, I've never really been one to embrace vulnerability much or be intentional with the relationships that I had with others. I'm not even sure those words were in my vocabulary at the time. Um, this trip, however, provided a safe space to really explore this new side of myself and learn how to embrace it. Uh, I remember coming back to campus after this trip, it concluded and just feeling like every conversation that I had 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 to be some sort of like meaningful and very deep, you know, conversation. Uh, I'm sure that annoyed some of my friends who were just asking me to go to the dining halls, but we'll forget about that. <laughs> 
Um, so getting plugged into YVC really taught me how to truly serve my community. Uh, after learning the ropes freshman year, I got to start uh, diving a little bit deeper into some of the things I was doing at my site during sophomore year. Uh, my service site directors inspired me to create original service learning activities and taught me valuable leadership skills. Uh, in addition to becoming more involved at my site, I also got to explore the Newport News community in a whole new light. Uh, in the build up to our sophomore exchange, which is a weekend retreat with other Virginia Bonner schools, uh, my fellow B8 Sydney and I were tasked with creating an issue brief that examined public health in the Newport News area. As a person who was born in Newport News and grew up in the area, I never really had much, I had never really explored the place I called home very much. Uh, so creating this issue brief showed me a completely different side of Newport News than what I was familiar with and gave me a new understanding and appreciation of the place that I called home. The end of my sophomore year marked the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, which drastically changed how I and many people in the community served. Our operations at YVC went uh, mostly remote, which made it difficult to really like see that impact that we were making on our community. Despite this, Vanessa and Jesse continued to encourage me and many of us to engage uh, and be active with our service. Um, as Vanessa was mentioning, the Bonner Program and the Center for Community Engagement adopted the mantra, distancing does not mean disengaging. This really empowered me and made me look for new ways to engage within my own community and service site. Uh, as a result of the pandemic, YVC began hosting virtual service projects to keep our youth volunteers engaged. Um, one of these virtual projects that we were doing was called Community Conversations for Change, and it engaged youth in civil discourse by discussing so social justice from many different angles. This project was especially meaningful to me as it allowed me to pass along some of the things that we had been discussing in our Bonner meetings down to a new generation of youth. Senior year really began to mark the return to normality. Uh, some of my favorite in-person YVC projects, such as Special Olympics Bowling, made their return, which really helped me re-engage with the service work that I used to do. The juniors and seniors, we finally got to experience our international trip during spring break. The trip to Puerto Rico helped me uh, really just reconnect with my fellow B8s right before graduation, which I'm super thankful for. Not only did we do meaningful and often strenuous service work, I mean, mixing cement by hand is no easy feat, <laughs> come to find out. Um, but we also took the time to learn about and embrace an entirely different culture. Uh, I remember early in this trip, uh, after a long day of working on a farm, I spoke with a man named Angel, who was someone we served with throughout the week. Um, we just had this really just authentic and genuine conversation about community and he shared why he loves his community so much in Puerto Rico and what motivates him to serve. This inspired me and refreshed me and just really just reminded me why I serve as well. As my senior year comes to a close, it feels like things at my service site have come full circle. I know how to be a confident leader and set an example for the generations of youth after me. For this, I'd like to thank Katie Morgan, Kimberly Moore, and Miss Anna over there uh, for always pushing me to make the service projects that I lead my own. Um, they have gotten me more in touch with my creative abilities than I think I've ever been before, which is something I cannot thank them enough for. It's through these creative abilities that um, I've started undertaking my capstone project, which is the creation of a sundial, uh, in an interactive sundial at a local farm in Hampton Roads, um, something that we will be planning on and continuing to work on throughout the next year, which I'm super excited about. The Bonner program itself has also felt like it's come full circle for me. It only feels like yesterday that I was a freshman looking upon the seniors uh, in awe of what they've been able to accomplish. But now I'm the senior and there's a whole new group of freshmen who are probably looking at my fellow B8s and I the same way. We are now the example of what it means to be a Bonner scholar at CNU. I'm not only incredibly proud of who each of my fellow B8s have become, but I can firmly say for one of the first times in my life, I'm proud of who I've become. I would not be who I am today without the Bonner program. It has touched my life in more ways than simply giving me a passion for community service, and for that I will forever be grateful. Thank you, everybody. Brad and Jesse and I have often fielded the question, of you know what what makes a bonner? Um, how do you how do you choose bonners? And 
a lot of people think it's all about the hours. And I have to tell you, it's not about the hours. Um, it's about someone with a heart for playing with the little kid across the street and going to his big brother day at preschool. Um, we'll take that heart any day of the week in our program. Thank you, Noah.